Hello again folks, welcome along to another video to our fall to arrive. Thanks for tuning in again and um, hope you noticed my new background, hope you like it. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, what am I doing today? Oh yes, uh, today we're talking about knots. And I'm going to show you and demonstrate how to tie the two knots that I use all the time. Um, I only ever use two knots. Um, I don't need any more and I would go so far as to say that you don't need any more either. I have one knot, it's a tucked blood knot for tying on flies or hooks or anything like that. And then I have another knot, the water knot, just for joining nylon together and forming droppers and that sort of thing. So if you want to know how to construct those two knots, stay tuned. Okay folks, the first knot I'm going to tie is um, a tucked blood knot. And this is the knot I use to tie on any fly or any hook onto nylon or fluorocarbon or any of those materials. And it's a very easy knot and very easy to learn. I'm using here a salmon hook, right? This is a, I think a size a eight or six. I'm not sure it's quite big as you can see. And I'm using that from the point of view of demonstration, you'll be able to see it. That's why I'm using such a big hook. And again, the nylon here is, um, I think it's 15 pounds break and strain. I'm not sure of the X measurement, but it's quite heavy. So um, it'll be easy to see as well. So now all we do is put the nylon through the eye of the hook. That between my index finger and my thumb, I trap a small loop of line. You can see it here. That little loop of line is now trapped between my index finger and my thumb. And then I wrap the nylon around itself five or six, sometimes seven times. And then I put the tag back through that little hole that was trapped between my index finger and thumb. I now want that tag to go through this hole here. But rather than try to maneuver the tag into the hole, it's much easier to just lift the, the, the loop and put it over the tag, then grab the tag. And now that's what we have. All I need to do now is just a little small little bit of lubrication with spittle and then pull to tighten. That's it. Now I just I bit that off. Not recommended by the way, use a snips or something, but I have teeth like a shark from doing it for so many years. Leave a tiny tag. Now just just in case of slippage. Now I've never had a slippage with this particular knot but uh, it does no harm to leave that little tag. So that's it folks, that's the uh, tucked blood knot, a uh, very powerful and strong knot that um, used to tie on any fly or any hook or any um, anything you want to tie on. It's a, it's a really good knot and very easy to learn as you can see. So learn it and um, you won't, uh, it won't let you down. Okay folks, this, uh, this knot here is um, a water knot and I use it to join uh, nylon together or fluorocarbon, different diameters and that sort of thing. So um, basically uh, with the green one here we're going to assume is already attached to a fly line and um, the fly rod is in that direction. So this here is the end, we'll assume is the end of a tapered leader or just the end of your leader basically and you want to add on this piece here for whatever reason to form a dropper or maybe just you need to lengthen your leader for whatever reason so to join them together all you do is you marry them together like that for about six inches and then at the end nearest to the fly line in other words that that direction I form a circle and then the two loose ends here the two ends furthest away from the fly line I bring through that circle three or four times that's twice three times is generally will generally suffice and that's what you have there then and then all you do is the two loose ends two ends furthest away from the fly line you just pull on them and that will form a super strong knot and um, if you need a dropper I'm just going to snip off this little piece here, this red piece here. We now have a dropper 
we need it for another fly or a nymph or whatever the case may be if you need a dropper and always form the dropper from the part that's coming from the fly line as opposed to here because it's way stronger it's in line if you know what I mean so now there we are that's it with a dropper so what I'm going to do now is just going to snip the dropper off and then you can see the knot without the dropper Again, I've bitten that off with my teeth not to be recommended so there you go that's the knot super strong knot and uh, worth learning I would go so far as to say it's the only knot you'll ever need for joining nylon or fluorocarbon or whatever it is together and uh, if you learn this knot um, it'll never let you down so there you go folks very easy knots aren't they very simple very easy to learn and if you're just starting out in fly fishing I strongly suggest that you learn just those two knots and the likelihood is you probably won't need any other knots ever they have served me for many many years and they never let me down so once again thanks for tuning in and uh, if you're not already a subscriber hit this little icon up here uh, the Springer Spaniel's head and uh, you can subscribe and you'll be notified of further videos so thanks again and good evening